Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser has a Brave Firewall and VPN that's added into the browser, which basically is a service uh, that you can use and, subs and subscribe to for a monthly fee. Now, with the recent rollout of the latest release of Brave version 1.59, as I posted, the Brave VPN installed a startup entry in the startup list for Windows. And if we just head over to that startup apps list quickly, and we head to our apps and startup, it installed the Brave VPN WireGuard service, which um, I did suggest in that video, if you were not using the VPN service, turn it off because this was turned on by default. And as you can see, I've turned it off because I don't use Brave VPN. So that's the WireGuard service for the VPN that was installed, as I mentioned in that previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Now, something else that's come to my attention is that over and above that startup entry, uh, there are actually two VPN service entries now that have been placed into the services um, of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So to get to these, um, we just do a search for services and um, click on that. This takes us over to all the services that um, are running and can run in the background when using Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we just head here to Brave, we will see that over and above the normal services, we get two new services, Brave VPN service and Brave VPN WireGuard service. Now, as you can see, there is no description, but it does say that this starts. This service starts with a manual triggered start, and this is a manual start. So basically, um, those services will only run in the background when you are using the Brave VPN. Now, if you are like me and don't use Brave, because obviously this has been done without user consent, um, we were never given the option to install these background services. These were only recently installed with the latest version 1.59 feature update. So although they require a manual start and are not running by default in the background, uh, if you just want to play it safe and um, want to actually disable those services, it is quite simple to do. So all we do is we just double click on each and we just change that from manual to disabled, click apply, okay and we get to the next one and do exactly the same and if the service is running for whatever reason just stop it and then you can change it from manual to disabled and now those services will never run without your consent even though they are only triggered manually but i just wanted to point that out because obviously um these services can um you know decrease the performance of your system a little bit if they are running in the background without your consent especially on a low budget device and very strange that Brave did not mention that those services were being installed. But nonetheless, um, if you do disable the two services uh, in your services menu and that startup entry for the Brave VPN WireGuard service, uh, you should be all okay um, if you are not running a Brave VPN and firewall in the browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.